Good morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. I was getting ready to make a real quick kale pesto that is so good. We made it at our meeting last night and I craved it all night and was wanting some more. So I just wanted to share with you our wonderful deluxe cooking blender. And I'm going to first grate some Parmesan and then we're going to add everything, take half of that out because I want to save it for other recipes. And then we're going to make the kale pesto in just a couple minutes. So the deluxe cooking blender, it's, uh, we'll turn it on. Everything's ready here. You can do so much. You can do soups. We did peanut butter last night, and then we did peanut butter mousse with what was left of it. But today, we're just going to use it with the custom blend. So I already have my Parmesan already chunked up. So we're going to throw that in here. And I'm going to grate this Parmesan. It's going to get loud here in just a second. So I'm going to do the custom blend. So I've got, I'm going to do it on... Let me double check, since I've only made this one time. We're going to blend on speed three for 30 seconds. So to do, I'm getting it to three. You probably can't see that, but it's up to three. And then the timer will start. And for 30 seconds. seconds and let me show you here we have grated parmesan so I'm going to take half of this out and put it in my one cup prep bowl because I only needed half of this for the recipe but I wanted to just go ahead and do it since I was chopping it up anyway all right so I've got that that goes in the refrigerator for the next time I have spaghetti or anything like that and then for the rest of this, we are going, the recipe itself said to put the Parmesan in and a couple tablespoons of sunflower seeds. Normally, pesto is made with pine nuts, and those are quite expensive. I'm telling you, I couldn't tell the difference with these. So that's about a couple tablespoons. That's how I measure. And we're going to grate that a few more minutes or seconds. I'm going to take that back. About 10 more seconds. We'll get that up to the... 30 second mark. And now all we have to do, and I'm going to cancel that, and we're going to add a half a cup of oil, olive oil preferably. I already had that pre measured. We're going to add a little bit of salt, even though that Parmesan is very salty anyway, but the recipe called for it. And what I have here is I have some kale already just kind of hand torn and I have basil, fresh basil. So all that goes in there. Oops, let's get that stem out of there. And I think that's all we need. So now I'm going to set this on custom setting one, two, speed two. So we're going to Dial that back to two, and this time it's going to be for one minute. It doesn't even really take that long, but watch the magic happen. It kind of starts out slow, and then as it starts in and gets all that ground in there, it starts picking that up. You might see from the base here. I know you're so far away, you probably can't see that, but it's, it's getting it. And then it'll start picking up all that kale and that, and actually it's turned off because it kind of wants to work its way down the vortex. This comes with a tamper. I am going to tap that down in there. It'll stop for a second because it knows it's getting too hot. And it's getting ready to do all its little magic here. Almost there. Add that last 
nice little piece of basil in there. that delicious pesto. I know when I saw that recipe, I thought, kale, I don't know, sunflower seeds, it's delicious. We made some turkey burgers at our meeting last night and they were delicious. We added some of this kale pesto to the turkey. So that made it so moist, just a, about a half a cup to two pounds of turkey. And then just grilled it on the stove on our double burner grill pan. Oh my gosh, they were so juicy. Then we chopped up some sun-dried tomatoes with mozzarella cheese grated and put that on as soon as they came off the grill and then served it with the kale pesto. Added a little bit of mayonnaise to the kale pesto for the turkey burgers. Oh my gosh, I recommend it. So if you wanna know more, just contact me. Thanks a lot.